Hi, I'm Wayne Allen Root for Personal Liberty. The media was wrong in pronouncing the economic crisis over in Europe. We know that now. They are wrong in America too. The real economic indicators, the ones not based on fraud, propaganda, deception, or delusion, prove that the economic crisis caused by too much government, too much spending, too much taxing, too many government regulations, and far too many government employees with obscene salaries and pensions is just now beginning. Get ready for bank runs, capital controls, theft of your pension funds, economic collapse, and a government armed to the teeth with millions of guns and billions of bullets that wants to disarm you, its citizens. Because what is happening now in Europe is a sign of things to come under Obama. The media has told us for months, everything's fine in Europe. Recovery is underway. The worst is over. Really? How's that working out for you? The economic crisis and contagion in Europe that was supposedly under control is now spiraling out of control. There is desperation in the air. Fear and panic are everywhere. Think I'm exaggerating? Well, don't take my word for it. A major bank executive stated publicly last week that only Jesus can save the EU now. <laughs> I'm not even sure if Jesus can help. Bank runs might be a sign that things are deteriorating, don't you think? Well, they started in Cyprus last week as it became clear that Cyprus is... Drum roll, please. Bankrupt, insolvent, and out of options. Just as I predicted in dozens of commentaries over the past three years, including right here at Personal Liberty, an historic economic collapse is underway in Europe. The media and the world's leaders denied it, but it's getting worse by the day. Do you think it can't happen in the United States under Obama? Think again. Over the past three years in Europe, we've heard political leaders and economic experts recite the same lies over and over again, telling us to relax, government's smarter than you and me, and government has it all under control. Recognize that theme? It's the same theme we hear daily from Obama and his socialist lackeys and the Obama adoring media here in the US. It's how you keep the masses calm, prevent unrest, rioting, and bank runs. Well, the Cyprus crisis proves the worst isn't over and you can't hide the worst forever. More importantly, you need to understand how the EU solved, solved the Cyprus crisis by stealing the money out of the citizens' personal bank accounts. The EU authorities are freezing any funds above 100,000 euros in personal bank accounts and stealing up to 40% to pay for the bailout. But worst of all, this is now the model for what's going to come all over the globe. It was just announced this week. This is exactly how the EU will bail out Italy, Spain, and France if they need bailouts too. By stealing money directly out of citizens' bank accounts. Well, I have news for the EU's financial brain trust. They haven't solved the thing. This news will start a banking crisis. The falling dominoes will now accelerate. Tell me what sane citizen would keep more than 100,000 euros in their accounts any longer? Which means starting at this moment, the wealthy of Europe are removing all their money from their bank accounts. And if no one anymore has over 100,000 euros in their bank accounts, then the only choice for the next bailout will be raiding smaller bank accounts of average citizens, which was the original plan anyway. Guess what this does to the EU banking system? There will be uncertainty, there will be loss of confidence, and there will be panic. Your money is certainly no longer safe in a bank account. Guess how the first Great Depression started? Exactly how this one is starting. With bank runs and a loss of confidence in the banking system. And if bank runs spread throughout Europe, you can be sure the USA is next. As American bank account holders realize our money is no longer safe from theft by government in a crisis. The signs of an EU economic collapse are everywhere. While the EU seizes bank accounts from citizens in Cyprus, Spain has stolen the pensions of its citizens. Formerly respectable professionals in Spain and Greece are eating out of dumpsters. In Bulgaria, citizens are so desperate they're setting themselves on fire. In Greece, there's no money to heat homes, forcing desperate residents to go out in the night to cut down trees in parks and national forests to use as firewood. We recently found out Italy's economic situation is even worse off than completely bankrupt Portugal. In Italy, buses return to the station because there is no money to pay for gasoline. And the jobs minister of France publicly slipped up and called the country, get this, completely bankrupt. Which is why this should be on the front page news in the United States. Why isn't it? Because the Obama adoring media doesn't want you to make the connection that Obama's policies mirror the exact same policies that destroyed the EU. Big government, big debt, big spending, big taxes, big unions, big pensions, big entitlements, early retirement, free health care, green energy, and high-speed rail. The EU is the canary in the coal mine. 
Europe's economic collapse proves that if everyone actually believes they deserve something for nothing and everyone either works for government or gets checks from government and everyone thinks it's their right to have free health care, eventually the economy will collapse and the country, or in this case the continent, goes kaput. Eventually, everyone lives in shared misery and malaise. We're going to be reading about this disaster in the history books decades from now, shaking our heads saying, how could we have been this stupid to think that government had the answer, or that government was too big to fail, or that there was such a thing as a free lunch? Government is too big to succeed, and there are no free lunches. Now to put this all in perspective, the EU is America's number one trading partner, meaning our best customer just went broke. That's just another hit in our economy. Secondly, the EU banking system will require a massive bailout. Guess who will be on the hook to give them trillions of taxpayer dollars? The United States. And third, the EU economic plan that led to this disaster is nothing more than Obama's economic plan. They are mirror images. The EU just started a few decades sooner with their financial suicide. Up next, America. Because what happens in Europe doesn't stay in Europe. It's just a sneak peek at our future under Obama. Get ready for bank runs. Get ready for a crisis that makes 2008 look like a walk in the park. I'm Wayne Allen Root for Personal Liberty. See you next week right back here. And may God bless America because we will need all the help we can get. Bye-bye.